Model Anarchist here, and this is a video response to Existentialist Cat. Um, so the weirdest thing happened, you two messed up, uh, and your God video from 11 months ago showed up in my sub box. Now not only is this weird because it was made 11 months ago, it's also weird because I don't ever, I didn't ever sub you. No offense, but uh, I definitely don't ever sub people who are not atheists. I know that sounds kind of narrow-minded, but I'm not going to sub someone, you know, just because I think they're attractive or something like that. Quite honestly, I have more, m more bullshit than I can take on a daily basis, and it's nice to get away from that on YouTube. And although I'm sure you have a lot of intelligent things to say, the, um, I mean, it's pretty obvious that God doesn't exist, and if you, if you don't, if you believe in a God, or even if you're wishy-washy about it, you think there could be a God, then you're either intellectually dishonest, or you're stupid. Okay, enough on why I'm not sub to you, and now on to why you are incorrect to assert that the human brain developed because we had access to protein sources. The human brain evolved to be as disproportionately large as it is because in some point back on our evolutionary family tree, our female ancestors started selecting for intelligence. That is to say, they preferred to mate with more intelligent males. Now, before all you geeks start bitching, Oh, I'm smart, but I don't get any pushy. Uh, let me just say that intelligence doesn't necessarily have to be defined in the way we are traditionally trained to think about it. Generally, when people say intelligence, they are trained to think of intelligence in terms of nerdiness and, you know, traditionally stuff like being good at math. Now don't get me wrong, I definitely think that there is somewhat of a cor correlation between being good at math and being intelligent. However, that is definitely not a indicator that our ancestors uh, thousands and thousands of years ago before math even existed would have um, evolved to seek. Now search your experiences for the type of people you think of as intelligent. Um, people that you interact with in your real life, not like people like Einstein or anything like that. The type of people who you tend to think of as intelligent are people who say things in agreement with your worldview, but they say them very coherently. Basically, one of the biggest indicators of intelligence that women look for is communication ability. Communication is huge in in being selected. Now, uh, being it's all about being good at talking, not necessarily talking a lot. Uh, I think that turns a lot of women off. It's being good at talking. That's the main point of importance. Having social skills is very important but uh, it actually does require a lot of intelligence to be good at socializing because you have to think of all these variables about what the other person's thinking, you gotta recognize their facial expressions, all this junk. And also social skills are very important in survival and were even more so back in primitive society. Let me just add in real quick that just because you have poor social skills doesn't mean you're necessarily not intelligent. There are all sorts of other things factors that can go into uh, not developing social skills properly, such as abuse, etc, etc. Think about it. Normally guys that just go up to a woman and just be like, hey, can I have sex with you? Uh, they don't normally get laid. Uh, and th there's a very good reason for this. It's not because women are turned off by, by the fact that this guy wants sex. Actually, women... Uh, whether they realize it or not, are, are attracted to guys that are attracted to them sexually. The reason is because
because a straight up comment like that is awkward. It derails the conversation. What would you say in response to that? And it, it demonstrates a lack of ability to grasp social situations. Women are also attracted to sensitive men. Now, uh, it's important you don't misinterpret what I mean by the word sensitive. I don't mean sensitive in terms of, oh, my feelings are hurt. I mean sensitive in the, in the ability to detect and emphasize with the feelings of others, or at least that particular woman, because it shows the brain capacity to be able to recognize these things, and it also shows that this man will be willing to take care of this woman and her offspring, which is very important. Now, women are also attracted to jerks. A lot of guys don't want to believe this. Sorry, but that's the truth. Women are attracted to jerks, and if you don't believe that, then you are blind or stupid or retarded or dogmatic or something, but women are attracted to jerks. And by jerk, I do not necessarily mean asshole. Now, because uh, women, you know, they want a man that uh, will take care of them. And unless they have really bad self-esteem because they were abused or something as a child, then I jerk does not mean asshole. Now let's think about this for a second being used to getting what you want kind of turns you into a jerk. It just happens. If you're generally able to get what you want, then you're turned into a jerk. And women like dominant men, and women like men with the ability to get what they want because it demonstrates an ability to get resources which they will need if they are pregnant and have a child. Uh, get the ability to maintain a supply of resources is very important. That's why women, whether they want to admit it or not, like it when men pay for the date. Now, uh, on top of that, in order to get what you want, that's something that usually requires a deal of intelligence. If you're able to f always find your way or always manipulate some someone or something like that that shows intelligence in order to do that you have to be intelligent so that that's another way in which women select intelligent men now there's always that one stupid fuck who has to insist that at least the good women don't like jerks but I'm sorry that's bullshit if you really think that women don't like jerks try this little experiment Go, go, get a group of people bickering loudly and annoyingly. And tell them to shut the fuck up. Now the key here is they actually have to listen to you. They actually have to shut the fuck up because you told them to. Now, um, assuming you're able to do that, watch every single woman in the room, watch their panties turn fucking soaking wet. I guarantee you that will happen because women love guys that are dominant jerks. It's a fact whether you like it or not. Another thing, women also love men with a good sense of humor, meaning women love men who can make them laugh. Now, humor is actually a very good indication of intelligence because in order to make someone find something funny, you have to appropriately parse a situation parse their feelings about the situation as well as combine that information in a new ironic creative way i.e. look at things in a funny way and then express it coherently women like guys that are good at music or good at poetry etc writing etc etc because again these are indicators of intelligence women like bad boys boys who break the rules because this indicates that they are smart enough not to be dogmatic and let's face it we all know 
dogmatism is stupid and it sucks and it is bad for society whatever bad means the human brain did not evolve because we had access to meat or protein or any of that jazz that is a myth otherwise sharks would be very intelligent too in summary women who were able to select smarter men had smarter offspring and women with smarter offspring had offspring that were more likely to survive and thus the human brain evolved.